Okay, guys, here we are. The normal, rare Fiesta, guys. Players can only play one of every card, normal rares, and today we got one with Tamias. Oh my god, Chad, he's playing vampires. He's my hero. He, I didn't even know you could make a vampire deck, but here we are, chat. We got Ghost, Shadow, Duke, Mazara, and Vampire Token. Our opponent's going to start off with Moray of Greed. They're going to reveal White Stingray and Emioch. They'll draw to summon Right Hand Shark, Chain Shark Stickers. I swear, this is how Yu Gi Oh! is supposed to be played, chat. Right Hand had to Left Hand Shark. Left Hand Shark special summons itself. And now they'll exceed someone with stickers in left hand shark into exceed armor torpedo. Torpedo will detach two materials to draw a card. Tremora will then discard itself to be able to summon out space mambo. And now we'll use mambo and the other monster for an exceed summon into gagaga -ga -ga samurai chat. This is a deadly combination, especially when you can salvage back your left hand shark and your ice jade tremora. We'll then end our turn on Exceed Armor of Tapora and Torpedo and Gaga -ga Samurai. All right. Tamaya starts off by summoning Vampire Ghost, discarding Shadow Vampire to get Sorcerer, send Retainer. Then discarding Sorcerer to summon Retainer to the field, paying 500 light points to get Vampire's Domain. Activating Domain, giving you an additional normal summon to summon Duke. Duke can now summon out Sorcerer. Ninetale Fox contribute both Sorcerer and Duke to summon itself and will attack into the Gagaga -ga -ga Samurai, but since it's equipped or attached with right hand shark, it can't be destroyed by battle. All right, our opponent goes Yumrika, boosting Torpedo to 3000, then Tremporio to summon Zeep, and then they'll normal summon left hand shark and Link summon. We're going to make Pit Knight early here, and now we can go to battle after our Gagaga -ga -ga Samurai can attack twice. All right, Vampire Takeover allows us to activate a field spell. Oh, Vampire Kingdom. Then special summon Vampire Monster from your graveyard in defense position. That's some good cards. We'll activate Kingdom. We'll summon out Duke. And Duke will send a spell card to the graveyard, which triggers Kingdom to destroy Gagaga -ga -ga -sa Samurai. When they attack into Duke, we'll Al Ghul Mazera to protect it and summon Al Ghul to the field chat. I think this game is over. Is Vampire, is that crazy and normal rare? We'll draw a Pyramid Turtle here. Activate our Familiar to summon itself. Gain Vampire Red Baron. Tribute to summon our Red Baron. Give them the Retainer by taking their Torpedo. Holy crap, chat. And now we're in complete control of the game. That's crazy. Our opponent has 2,000 light points left and a pit knight early. They can change the game around, but it's not looking good. They'll draw a white stingray and summon it, and that's it. Bro, that vampire deck was cooking, cooking. All right, here we go. We have insects. I love insects, chat, versus sharks. We start off with two cards face down and a space mambo. And it's up to insects, especially when... Is Saban is on the field? If a face-up non-water monster is normal summon a special summon, while oh, you control a water monster, sends that summon monster to defense. It's actually not bad. We're then going to go ahead and Verdant Sanctuary, activate Ballpark, set Crawler, which Dino Miscus then gets rid of the Ballpark. Or, that's crazy. What's the room ID? I'm not sure if Exceed Summoning is the wave anymore, chat. It just doesn't seem like, especially when you kind of like mess yourself up with that one. But we had to return our opponent's monster to the hand, which set them back and inflict 200 damage. I'm not sure if that's the wave, chat. Yo, what's up? We'll summon out Poison Sting, which then can activate its effect. We'll get Rapid Fire, activate Ball Game, it reveals our rapid fire, and we get to take our opponent's monster? Yeah, that's kind of crazy, and it's an insect now, too. Yeah, that, that, that. Exceed summoning may not be the best thing in the world, chat. You gotta remember when you exceed summon, you gotta give up two of your monsters, so like. 
Not always the greatest proposition. I'm working on the extra deck, and that's my main problem with this deck. Yeah, you might not want to... I, I think you need to construct your deck in a way where your monsters can work for themselves. But you can also gain an advantage from XC Tunnel. Like, when you summoned your... In the last game that I saw you watch, when you summoned the rank 3, you were cooking. But summoning the rank 4 here, you need your cards to work for you and get you more advantage. Like how he's doing. He had all his cards work for him. And now he's getting all these battle wasps on the field. But before then, he was allowing his spell cards to do him a lot of the dirty work. Yeah, you got to be less extra deck focus. Wait, did Walmart cart cheat and still lose? There's no way, chat. Man, joined a Highlander normal rare tournament and lost to a... There's no way. Chat, there's no way! There's no way! No! Walmart shopping cart! No, not like this! Not like this! Yo, chat, chat, I got to see this shopping cart. I got to see how you lost, man. I got to, I'm putting the not like this is in here, chat. Bro, you're playing, you're playing multiple. All right, guys. So we're going to see a guy playing multiples of a card in the normal rare tournament. You guys didn't know it's supposed to be one of every card only. That's what makes this a little bit different than any other ones that we're seeing. But we're seeing Vampire Familiar to Vampire Retainer, and then we're going to Link Summon. We make Codebreaker Virus Swordsman, and then we activate Retainer to discard our last card. I think this is going to be a problem in contention that a lot of people are going to have a problem with when it comes to Normal Rare Singleton, right? You give up your entire hand to make a board, you better hope your opponent can't crack it. We get Vampire Kingdom, we activate the Kingdom, and then we Link again. We make Triple Burst Dragon. This card's really good. Then we pass our turn. All right. So we draw Shadow Vampire. We set a monster in defense, which triggers Jackal Bolin to summon Vampire Familiar. Vampire Familiar again, then adds Scarlet Scourge. So I think there's actually an impact here because Vampire Familiar should have been banished. So this is the second Vampire Familiar. We see that there's a clear impact by having multiple one-ups or multiple cards in your deck. We then go Vampire Sorcerer to banish the tribute or to summon Scarlet Scorch. And it looks like you have Tamaya's Timmy on the run. All right, so we're doing good here. We put him down to 900 light points, and we have 9,200 light points ourselves. All right, Tamaya, so we got to go ahead and lock in. We'll activate Jacko Bolin here. We'll discard Shadow Vampire, which our opponent will then Jacko Bolin our Shadow Vampire. It is not looking good. We summon Jacko Bolin, then trigger Vampire Familiar, discarding Duke to summon itself. Our Familiar gets our Sorcerer. We summon out Shirin Nui Samurai, then tribute both monsters for a Nine-Tailed Fox. Attack over the Triple Burst Dragon. Attack into the Scarlet Scourge by banishing the Jacko Bolin, which makes our monster a little bit bigger. And then that's all we got. We've essentially did break down the board a little bit, but this is going to be the crucial part of the turn. He knows, sets a card face down, Shadow Vampire into Shirinui, but this can banish to gain 600 attack. Like, we do that every time, right? So we banish the Duke to a get over the Shadow Vampire, and since the Vampire was ours, oh, we get we banish the Shadow Vampire. Okay. So maybe he did that to get all of the zombie monsters out of the graveyard, which means next turn, Shirinui won't have any cards. Okay, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll go battle phase. We'll attack over his Jacko Bolin. We'll attack into his familiar, which he'll chalice our Shiranui. We don't have a zombie in graveyard. We'll T set and pass. And yo. 
We'll use Vampire's Domain to pay 500 light points to normal summon, but we can't normal summon Grace because we don't have a monster to tribute. And it looks like we're going for massive damage here. Tamayas effectively beat the board, but he only has 400 life points left, and it's up to Walmart Cart's turn. He draws something, we could be in trouble. He draws a second Jackal Bolin. Bolin discard Grace, and that that's it. Oh, no. We're going to go Canadia to be able to flip down the Bolin, preventing him from summoning another monster. Kasha then summons the Shuffle in all monsters and attacks for gay. Yo! That's crazy! What's buffing Tamias' cards is the opponent's field. Holy. Tamias beating the cheater! Crazy. Oh! So, chat, we have a hero deck. The hero deck in normal rare is really built off of Woodsman. Woodsman is the strength of the deck, at least in my opinion, because it gets you super polymerization. And then Marty's also playing Solidarity. I think that this is a really good card, but you have to risk not playing any non-warriors in this deck, right? And we're looks like we're going against Melodious Fairy. Bro, so many good decks being played in normal rare. I got to get you guys on it. We'll start off with Princessin, Summon Pumpkin Carriage, Activate our Sanctuary or Parshath and then pass our turn. And we're going to draw Captain Gold. That's a pretty good card. It gets a Skyscraper. And it puts a Warrior in the Graveyard. So Solidarity now is live. Woodsman, 1800 attack. It attacks into Princessin. I have a feeling that these cards do things. But I'm not even going to bother with they do. We're just going to go ahead and pass our turn with an 1800 attack. Woodsman, which can stand its own. All right. They summon Area. And then attack, which we Sakuretsu armor. Really good we were able to do that. Because now during our turn, Woodsman allows us to get Polymerization. We then can normal summon Wildheart and Link summon. Oh, chat, we're going for the Gusto here. We make Element Extra Hero Inferno Divisor. This card can get us two materials. So we get Thunder Giant. We reveal Thunder Giant to get Clay Man and Spark Man. Polymerization on the Clayman and Sparkman. Uh-oh, chat. It's not good. It's not good. Because now we get Thunder Giants to the field. 3,200 attack and can destroy Pumpkin Carriage. Now, I keep telling you guys this. We put ourselves in a position where if our opponent gets rid of our board, we probably lose the game. Right? So it's, it's not the best position to be in. But it's a very big position where we say, hey... You need to do something here. If not, we're winning next turn. All right. So Goddess with the Third Eye. Activate Fortismo. Summon Goddess with the Third Eye. In place. Yeah, it looks like this game's over. We'll get rid of Goddess and then attack for game. Am I going to YCS Sacramento? I've never heard of a YCS Sacramento. Did that just get announced? All right, here we go, guys. We got Vindrit versus, it looks like a Tingy pile. We'll start off with three phase downs and a Zombie Master and pass our turn. We'll use Ashina's effect to summon. We might just ban Ashina. That might be it. We ban Ashina. I think the deck is, the, the rest of the strategy is fair. Maybe Ashina and the blue guy. I think where, where we messed up is that we definitely 100% should have used Ashina to summon Vishuda and then linked them all off into the big three because then we would have had Shitana and yeah, we, we definitely messed up there. And now that we lost Monk, Shatana doesn't do anything unless we have a normal. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie, we kinda gave the game away here. We summon Taya. Taya banish. That's sick. Get a token. Activate, get rid of the fox. But now we go Zoma Spirit. That's a lot of words to not say ban Monk. Huh. I guess that does solve a lot if we just ban Monk. 
you might be you might be cooking there. One card link summons have proven themselves to be problematic. Alright, we go Fist of the Unrivaled Tingy. So do we also ban Nerval? And we're going to go Quailone for Filth Spell. Yo, we got control. Until Zombie Power Struggle gets activated. Should we expect a new busted Snake Eyes card for every set so we can live in Eternal Snake Eye format? <sighs> I've never been more disappointed in Konami. So, maybe. I swear, I swear to God, I ain't nervous. 